Today I'm here with the Treasurer and Minister Bailey to announce trains, trains and more trains. I said that we would make, we would restore Maribara to being able to be the manufacturing hub of train making in Queensland. Not only will it be the hub, this is going to be the largest investment in train manufacturing that Queensland has ever seen. Today we are announcing a $7 billion investment in train manufacturing. Initially we said we were going to ask for 20 trains to be built. We will now be asking for 65 trains to be built. This is setting up Maribara and the entire Wide Bay region for the future. See, great news for Maribara. This is our first Olympics announcement as well because these trains will be needed for the Olympics for our Cross River Rail and it sets up the pipeline of trains uh, for the future. This is the first local procurement announcement for the Olympics and it's being done in regional Queensland. Thank you. I just want to say that this is a wonderful day for the Fraser Coast and Maribra and it's a historic day for Maribra. Manufacturing runs in our blood in Maribra. It's a central part of our history and thanks to Bruce Saunders and the Palaszczuk government, it's a fundamental part of our future. In 1873, the workers at John Walker & Co Union Foundry built the very first locomotive in Queensland, the Mary Ann. We're proud of those workers and we're extremely proud of the men and women who work in Maribra building things now. Maribra is a place where things will be built, trains and so much more. We're proud of these workers, we're proud of today and what we'll be doing into the future, building trains for Queensland and Australia. This is a fantastic day for Miraburra City, a fantastic day for the, for the whole of the region. As a local member, when I got elected in 2015, I spoke to the Premier at length about building trains back in Miraburra. This is a plan that's come to fruition. There's 800 jobs for our region at Torben Lee. Torben Lee is a, is a great community. It was a mining community, Torben Lee Howard. It's, uh, it's a great block of land that uh, the government has purchased there. I'm looking forward to this. Meribur is back. Meribur is the number one train building facility in the Southern Hemisphere again. We've got a great skill base here. We've got great people in our city. Uh, last year, uh, the Brisbane Harvey Bay Air Route was one of the top 10 air routes in the country. Uh, we've seen consumer spending growing this year, 29% up in the Wide Bay region, 29% over pre-COVID numbers. Uh, we've seen dwelling approvals in the Wide Bay increase a staggering 88% in the 12 months to August, twice as fast as the national average. Uh, but following the health advice allows us to make announcements like the announcement we are making today about the future of manufacturing in Queensland. Now, it's not possible for us to paint all of these trains maroon, but every Queenslander will know this. These trains will be made in Queensland, built owned and operated. Built, owned and operated in Queensland.